Easy, 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 bro. Oh, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Holy <laughs> God! Dude, let's go! Let's go! Oh, oh my God! God. All right, y'all, what is up? Good morning. Today is the freaking day, man. It is super freaking early. The sun is just starting to say what's up. It's coming over like the snow-capped mountains. It looks so freaking cool. But today is day three out here in northern New Mexico. If you haven't seen the first two days of this journey, I'll link them down in the description below. Today, we are meeting up with someone. If you guys know me, I have not fly fished much, and I really, like, I don't know what I freaking do. We tried the first day we were here. I'm just so excited, man. This place is literally loaded with fish, big fish, rainbow trout, big old brown trout. Today, we're heading over. I'm going to hopefully learn some fly fishing stuff. It is literally an art. If y'all are like, man, you have no clue how to fly fish. Hopefully, you can learn something today. If you do know how to fly fish, hopefully, you get a good laugh out of this. So I'm just excited, man. We're almost over there. And yeah, this is going to be a freaking epic day, dude. All right, we just pulled up at the same time. Let's get weighted up. Let's get out there. All right, so we made it out here this morning. We're over here with Tyler. How's it going? And Wyatt. Tyler's actually a guide out here, right? Yeah, He's I see YSBFF on Instagram. Or you can reach out to the San Juan Angler in Durango, Colorado, and we can get you booked up with a trip. Yeah, so I'll have all his links down in the description below. Let me just show you guys real quick what he's gonna show you. Look at these freaking flies, man. These things are so tiny. So what do we got kind of going on here? So over here we have our basic annelid set up, all the little aquatic worms coming out of the lake that kind of settle in the river here. And we do have some worms that do live and grow on the banks here and get washed in. And then we got our small midges over here. We have some foamies up here. Some little wing sprouts coming out of these midges as they hatch. Um, we have some midge larvae here right before that wing sprout comes out. Some little caddis larvae, more midge larvae, little baby betis. I don't know if y'all can see how freaking tiny these things are. This is in like, how do the fish even freaking find that dude? It's so tiny. What I was fishing with when I was fly fishing the other day, I think it was like 10 times that size. <laughs> Maybe that's why I wasn't freaking catching anything, dude. I don't know what I'm doing. He's got all these rods over here. Five weight rods. This one's a custom 10 foot five weight made by one of our local guys. As I was saying earlier though, there's some freaking giant fish in here. He said the tanks, like freaking tanks. big brown trout, which I haven't caught yet here. So that'd be really freaking cool to get on one of those. I just want to get on any kind of fly fish because I am not very good at it. <laughs> We're going to be working on that today. I'm going to be learning a lot, but it's just, I don't know. I just want to show you all this. This is freaking nuts. How tiny. Like that is so small, dude. Yeah, we'll show you guys the rigs and everything. I guess we'll head over to the water. Yeah. We're gonna be doing a lot of exploring today. Let's get it. All right, let's go. This looks like gunk, right? Yeah. Those are bug larvae and exoskeletons from last night. All that is? All of that. Oh yeah, I see. What is that thing? Yeah, that's a little mid. That's crazy. So that's just why? Why are they all together like that? So from last night in the evenings when the hatch comes on strong all the bugs are out and flying about and they finally die and land and they end up in little side channels as they come down the river wow ah, just so like chum yeah <laughs> oh whoa, whoa, whoa. don't move look right down from the tip of my rod right there see that worm yeah, yeah see so there, there's like a night crawler size worms in here too huh along with little leeches and stuff you see how like by this rock here there's a couple stuck together yeah that's called a midge cluster once the wind blows them around, they get stuck together like that. Fish will key in on the clusters instead of the individual. This is nuts, man. This is so, like, cool looking. And you're in the middle of the desert. Yo, I actually want to ask you, what is with all those, like, little tiny swarm? birds that are flying on? the hatch, the bugs. Oh, they are? The water. So they'll sit there and swarm them. Going through the jungle. <laughs> yeah. You ever see Bigfoot out here? I thought so was. <laughs> See when I pull this, that the whole thing turns? Yeah. That's your drag. It is it is monitored right here, so you can tighten it, loosen it. But that is your drag. So you're fishing, you're fishing, boom, you hook a fish. And you're fighting him. If it's little, just go ahead and strip it in. And if it's not, you're gonna when he goes on his runs, you're gonna let this come out in moderation. Okay. And once once he runs, or if he goes on a big run, you let go and let him go to the reel. Gotcha. Then you lift that arm up and let him do his job. Once he gives you time, to, then you just go into that spin gear mind. When he gives you some play, go ahead and get it back. And then if he goes, you just let go, but stay clear and keep it off of you. If you bump it, it catches your waiter, uh, hits your pocket, knocks a GoPro cable. It'll stop the line, that abrupt stop. Could either bend that small hook yeah. or snap. Yeah. So we're going to test it. I'm going to be your fifth right now. Pretend that's a bite. And All then right. I want you to hook set. I want you to just lift and you're always going to try to lift downstream into the fish 
because you're pulling it into his mouth. There, that's perfect. There's nothing more than that. You don't gotta rip it. So our little fly is a little foamy. That's a size 24. About a foot up from that, we have a an worm. And this one is a dark brown color with a little hot spot. Another foot up to a tippet ring in our weight. Up at top, we have our ni tactical ninja fly leader indicator. And to just adjust it, we're gonna grab it and either slide down or grab it and slide it up. Yeah, I think it looks nice. Before I was using like, it's like little sticky styrofoam yeah. things. <laughs> so this is what we'll call home base right down here. Kind of think of it like a golf club. You're gonna hold the line with your finger, keep your thumb straight, turn your wrist and then point this wherever we want to go. So for reference, we'll say this side of that big rock and then just come straight down. It's that so. That was some good technique. Very sure. Oh yeah, I just saw it roll, yeah. And so you see how that colored line's coming down faster than the indicator? Yeah. We're gonna do a mend. And so the easiest way to do that is like a rainbow. You're gonna pick it up and just drop it. Okay. And that'll allow that to get back down and sink on its natural path. Right from here, you're crappie fishing. You're looking for that thing to twitch, move, go down, just stop anything sometimes it'll even just shoot off from you really but you're just gonna let it kind of work the slow seams you don't need to be out in the fast stuff there's no reason see how it's just dipping yeah you want to set that's the set you can either let it land or like i did you see how i turned it into a cast yeah it went back in the air you pause and you'll feel a tug that tug is it loading so when the, the ideal part is to time that when it tugs back then i can lay it forward but you're just gonna do that with it. I guess it makes it easier. Let's see all the bubbles over there? Yeah. We'd say foam is home. So anywhere those bubbles are, that's where you're gonna throw your line. You want your indicator in those bubbles moving the same speed because that's where all the food and the directional of the water is going. So that's where it's gonna take it. All the bugs and stuff will be end up pushing that way. They'll slow down a little bit right there and give the fish an opportunity to eat. So what's the strat too? Like if other people were fishing here, is it like rude to almost like cloudy this up here? Like if they're fishing here, we're in above them. Yeah, I just ask out of out of etiquette. This kind of place, the fish are gonna eat this stuff. It's not gonna spook them or anything. Yeah, but you just wanna respect people's space. I'm gonna do it once with you. So go ahead and get the line under your finger, and so turn your wrist. Wow, that's it. That's it. That's all there is to it. Is you letting the rod do the work. You don't need to do more than. So that. you just put it like right there and just let it. Yeah, and drift. It's slowly working down. So then when yep. you would down yeah, men in this case, you just kind of. It's not a whole lot of whipping, it's not tugging, it's nothing, it's just all finesse. That's, that's the key to this. Huh. You see how it's going down? So yeah. there, set that, set that. That was perfect. So it wasn't a fish, now go ahead and roll it back out. So turn your wrist, and now karate chop and stop about straight. You oh, a little. <laughs> my bad. You're good. It's about the most, and fast and stop hard. You just gotta stop it hard. Yeah. Think about it as up and over. So you're going, bringing that line up and over you. Okay, so like that, yeah. instead of, I was yeah. kind of going yeah, like... Yeah, you don't need, you can kind of come sideways, because you're trying to go upstream. You're trying to cast it up to down. You don't want to cast straight up. So, getting it back on that side of you kind of helps, and then you can just... And if you don't like where it is, man, just back out here, try it again. Like that. And karate chop, but you want to stop here. You went down a little too low, so. Right. You're getting it. Turn your wrist and go from there, straight back out. There it is. I just wasn't put enough yeah. on it. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. It's freaking, it's freaking loaded, dude. Look at that one right there. Oh, that's a big one. It's crazy I could just look in and see them like that. Yeah, yeah, dude. This place, that's why I tell you, this place is Disneyland for trout. <laughs> it really is. You're just waiting in line for your turn. That's about it. It's freaking nuts, dude. So all I want you to do is start out that way, let it drift, swing, and then back up. Gotcha. Take about a couple hours. Yeah. Maybe less than that with the leak I got. Set. There he is. Ooh. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Drift, and if he goes to run, let go of the string, let it slide through your fingers. Let it slide, let it slide. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> you gotta give him a little more finesse in it. Gotcha. Make sure we're good. It's not Delaware. These fish have a little more. Oomphing them than the ones in Delaware, probably. So you just like kind of loosen it and it slides. Yeah, just loosen your finger and let let him take it. And then if he stops running, you start stripping again. And then you just keep playing him that way until so you. So it's like you're the drag. In. Yeah, either you get him in or you get to the reel. If he goes on a big run out there, let him take all the string and then you got just you. go straight to the reel. Now I got some knowledge. Yeah, he took that pretty quick though. Yeah, you see how it just dips. Yeah. I think it was very subtle. That wasn't a hard hit for here. Just like relaxing with the yeah. the bird chirping in the back and. Like a babbling brook. 
So we went a size down with something that looks a little more natural, a little orange hot spot for a head instead of on the middle. And then this guy right here, just another little midge pupa, little flash wing midge. Just so midge. tiny, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably what you've been getting your bites on. Yeah. Honestly. Light cream annelid with the orange head and then I got a gray zebra with a sparkle wing. He sounds like a Starbucks order, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ooh, yeah, he, he thumped it a little. It was like, Doof. you see that ledge right there? Yeah, before the cloud gets to it. That's key. Always look before your cloud gets there because <laughs> you'll be walking. <laughs> There's a pretty big fish right there. They need to be right there. <laughs> That's my thing, you're not doing nothing wrong, you're not. Look at him, he's coming up to us. It's our first day. <laughs> Let him run, let him run, let him flip, go to the reel, go to the reel, let go. Oh, <laughs> oh dude, the little things. <laughs> it literally was on the belt. <laughs> That's why I was coaching it. Let's go ahead and look at him and see what's going. Oh, man. There you go. All right, so we've been out here for a little bit. The first fish, I uh, I, I didn't know, I, I don't know. Back in Delaware when I was catching the trout, like I could just hold my line on the thingy like that. But you have to kind of let it play and then do other stuff. So I, I messed up that time and then the second time. The line got somehow wrapped around a loop on my belt thingy. If you bump it, it catches your waiter, uh, hits your pocket, knocks a GoPro cable. It'll stop the line. That abrupt stop could either bend that small it, hook yeah. or snap. Yeah. Next time it's going to be the one, man. Yeah. It's just learning. Like every time cast this out every time something happens it's learning you ever catch one that like has already a fly in it all constantly really constantly because this is a barbless only you got to pinch them a lot of people don't or if they do they, they're not very good at it and don't do it enough yeah so when they get into the bellies or snag a fish that fly will stay in there a while so i've pulled rusting hooks out of fish before here Jeez. Fish, 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 and they're not small. So what you end up doing is casting way up here to get your sink time. Yeah. And then you'll do your mend, but you want to do your mend before that indicator's near the fish, because if you move it, you don't want them to see it. There you go. Let's let that one go. That was some poop. Yep, that was close too. <laughs> oh. So you gotta remember too, as your flies come down, your flies are still like back like another foot or two. So after your indicator passes these fish, your flies are just now coming into their view. Gotcha. Is that far enough? Yeah. We're just playing with the depth, so I might move the weights up a little bit. Set. There's a little fish up there. You see him up to the side? Maybe yeah, you can see him. He's just a little up and diagonal a little. Set. There he is. Keep it up. Keep it up. If he runs, let it go. Now, now just use the rod tip. Up towards the sky. Oh. Just came out. You were perfect. You are perfect. <laughs> That's good.
you see them kind of diagonal out there. Like yeah. Right on the edge. That moss or whatever it is. Maybe you can know it. But I've got to be in his face right now. Set. Oh, ho, ho. set, 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 set. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And just kind of pull the rod that way, and you want to try to get him out of this hole. You can put more pressure on him. I just don't want to put too much. No, you put enough pressure on him that you feel safe, and then you let him go if he tries to run on you. Alright. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and lift with the rod tip. You want to keep that rod bent straight up. Okay. Yeah. That oh gosh. The very, very good, dude. Yeah, then just make up time when you can. And then work him around this crack. Alright. He's, He's coming right at us. Yep, yep. Go ahead and lift him up so he comes up and over this crack. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Let's go. <laughs> Holy crap. Dude. Let's Roll go. Work. Holy god. Alright, a GoPro just died. Look at this freaking thing, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> see that little bitty fly. Tiny, you can't even probably see it on the freaking GoPro. So, you said this is a... This is a cut bow. Looks like a cut up under there. Yeah. I see it. Yeah, that's freaking crazy looking, dude. Oh. <laughs> so, that sound, I'm glad he did that. So you know how fish rise and go down, right? Yeah. It's the air. They filter air throughout the water and that's how they can rise and go down. So right then, he said, I want to go back down in the water. So he tried to let out air to sink. Ah. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand you this. Science. Dude, look at that. I got one of the, the midges crawling on my hand right there, too. <laughs> That's crazy. I like that. It, it's like keeping him in this nice net like yeah. this. So yeah. he's like perfectly safe and everything. Dang. Yes, dude. Thank you so much. We were literally targeting that. What was it? The same one? Um, this was the smaller one sitting just outside that big one. So we'll actually throw a couple more casts before we go to lunch. That was a small one. Yeah. I mean, that's a freaking tanker. That one, like, I, I don't think I ever caught a fish with those like colors. And I'm colorblind, but I can still right. see it. All right, so we got out there around like six. It is now what, like eleven something? Yeah, eleven thirty. So, twelve. Oh, it's wait, wait, is it really? What the heck? Dude, time is freaking flying. All right, so we were out there for a while. I actually hooked into like three, four fish. We caught that one. It's a big learning process, man. It's, it's, it's literally a freaking art. As I said, from like the presentation to like the actual fighting of the fish, it's completely, you know, different than anything I've ever really done before. Right now, it's how I was cooking up some uh, good meat right there. Looks nice, dude. And then get back down. Round two. We're gonna catch some stuff, man. You think there's a possibility of a uh, brown, like up where we're going? Oh, absolutely. That's what I really would like to, I wanna get on a brown, dude. All right, well, we'll make sure that. That was actually my first ever, though, cut cut bow. Never caught a cut throat, and I guess it's my first cut bow ever, so new species. It's pretty cool, dude. Just look, look at the, look at that. It's freaking beautiful out here, man. We're gonna eat some food. You wanna know just where? Well.